Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Thinker. It's a beautiful day. Another boring out there. Another yes. Week. Well, we actually got a couple of wispy clouds. We're back in the courtyard, but yeah, there's well, been a bit of change of yes, plan. Yes, with um, an emergency change of plan. Yeah. I'm sure you remember a few weeks ago, um, Stuart, a friend of ours, he's an aircon engineer. He brought us two aircon units, and um, we don't really need it here, but sometimes in July and August, August when it's it can be a bit 43, 44 degrees outside, it can get a bit too warm. It cools off lovely overnight, so we open the windows, we can get a bit of a breeze through. But on the odd night or so, it would be lovely to have. So, and we've got that much solar power that we're just losing. Yes. And we thought, you know, we're just going to throw an aircon in there upstairs in the apartment yep. and just batter it all day, basically, when it's <laughs> hot. So it will be super cool in there all the time. Well, that's the theory. Yes. Um, may as well use the power. Um, so we're going to off this for a little bit, we'll be back on it shortly, but it's coming in a couple of days, so I'm kind of, it's caught us on the hop a little bit because we weren't yes, ready. we only saw him yesterday and he said he was coming Friday, Friday. so we've had to cancel what we were doing. Postpone it, yeah. Yes. And run around looking for bits and stuff and get started on this. That's what I'm going to be doing today, a bit. Yeah. What are you on? Well, I'm going to spend a bit of time in the garden, so I'll take you with me and uh, pepper fest. show you <laughs> how things are coming along. Um, yeah, because not a lot I can do with regards to air con. No. It's not my specialist Supervised. subject. <laughs> yeah, yeah we so get, it's like if anyone's interested in growing something, what is literally a, a semi arid desert. Um, we've Indeed. Had, we've had two inches of rain this year it's, it's nearly coming up to all this past the middle of april yeah um, not a lot at all so it can be quite challenging indeed and we said a while ago we've done a few videos on this that we were going to concentrate on things that that do grow it grew quite well yeah, here. yeah. we do well on tomatoes and peppers tomatoes and, uh, and peppers and a few other things and which, a few which other things. Will so, show you the so bit. yeah I'll, I'll just take you with me whilst i'm pottering around today pottering. yes excellent let's potter on then let's do it so here we are around um, a not so often visited side of the house at the moment. It's going to be getting some super action when we do the office inside because all this wall here and everything needs sorting out. But the aircon unit is going up there, pretty much exactly where that light is. As you can see, you should be able to see it. Um, down below where that other wire comes out, um, I'm going to pop it out of the wall there and send it straight up. Um, it's going to be there or thereabouts. Um, we don't like putting wires and stuff like that on the outside of the house. We don't particularly like an aircon unit, but needs must at times. Um, but we are going to be building some kind of porch over the back of this, as we've said before in the future, to sort of hide everything. We've got the internet cable there as well, and it all needs a bit of a tidy up. But for now, it'll get us going. So what I need to do is come out from the consumer unit, which is behind there, get a get an exit out through the wall. Right. So this is our one consumer unit in here. We've got all the different circuits, sockets for the apartment upstairs. The lights are on their own circuit. The utility itself with the washing machine and everything is on its own circuit. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wire it off the apartment one because it's going to be in the apartment. Um, this is the wire that comes through from outside for the water, solar water heater with a control panel for that. I'm going to send it through Somewhere, I'm not sure yet, either there or there, so it comes out next to and parallel with that, so I can run up nice and neatly together, then we'll wire it in to this. Um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, I might get Sharon to just hold the, the vacuum, good old Henry, and to suck everything up as I go through. So, um, I'm going to get some drills, I'm going to come through from the inside to the outside, I think. Um, probably be easy because there's a few things here I don't want to be hitting from coming through blind. I don't know if you can see that, but our hot water in the tank is at 89 degrees Celsius. And we need to use some of that, I think, because it's pretty hot. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through there, which will be very close to that one on the outside, but I know there's nothing in that area that could come to any harm. 
So I'm just going to shove a wood bit through first. Sharon's going to vacuum the bits up to stop them all falling down here as we go. Are we ready? Ready. Do it. Right, same again with the masonry bit. This is going all the way through. Oh, Well, that was a pretty good shot. Um, must have threw stone the whole way, which didn't make it easy. So I'm going to use another piece of this exactly the same, run it up right next to it, keep it nice and neat. But yeah, that's happy days. That was the bit that was concerning me the most. So the next thing I want to do is just enlarge this hole with my big bit so I can fit a piece of pipe uh, just a little bit away into the wall. Ah. Okay, it's not easy sometimes. <laughs> this is my bent bit, by the way. as bad as expected um, I can't do any more with it really until what we've got to do um, I need to move that light out so I forgot about that completely we just put a frame up inside for the unit to sit on and then we'll drill that through from the inside outside and then we'll know um, more where we need to be but for now yeah, that's done so you may or may not remember I planted some tomato seeds um, before I went back to see my mum for Mother's Day and um, I think I put ten from memory so five and then doubled them up in case um, they didn't work and we've actually got a great specimen there one, two, tiny one there, three, four, five, six and right over here you probably won't be able to see that on camera number seven's just popped up so that's not bad, is it? Out of 10 seeds, we should have lots of lovely tomatoes. Did really well here last year, so I'm hopeful that they'll be just as successful this year. And this is our little herb garden. We've got mint and basil. Um, the mint has been dug up by Alfie, then dug up by Tilly. Um, don't seem to be able to kill it. It comes up every year, smells absolutely beautiful and in between we've got basil which has self seeded from last year and um, we had basil here and mint there the mint's encroaching a little bit as it does but the basil's hardy that can survive um, with the mint alongside the mint so yeah lots of lovely basil coming up there and if I move slightly I hope you can see in this corner we've started off some spinach um, it's looking a bit wilted at the moment because it gets the sun at this time of the day but then tonight it'll miraculously revive itself. It has had some water. I don't want to drown it because it's not very big yet. But yes, happy days. And this is our orange tree that we actually thought was a mandarin because the fruit that we did get off it was so tiny. In fact we only got one <laughs> last year. Um, but it's doing really, really well this year and I think Andy showed you the other day, it's been absolutely full of bees, which is always good news. So we're hoping we're gonna get some nice man um, oranges this year. Um, we did cut it right back about two years ago, so that's maybe why last year wasn't very successful, but this year for sure, um, providing nothing eats it. So we've got to keep our fingers crossed because we have had problems with insects eating our trees in the past but um, fingers crossed this one will be good we've already got some little oranges here where the blossoms dying off you can see the little oranges and this is our rocket i just scattered a load of seeds in this builder's bucket and uh, it's coming up a treat have to keep this on the top because uh, the cats like to lay in this one for some reason they think it's a comfortable bed and they squash it so that's why this is on there but yeah, have some rockets soon.
I showed you the vine not long ago um, it's romping away now it's nearly as tall as me um, no sign of any flowers no sign of any grapes yet um, but it's what three years old now so we're perhaps being a little bit um, optimistic um, but yeah it's lovely and healthy um, despite Tilly having um, pruned it earlier on when we got her she was chewing down at the bottom so I was a bit worried about that but it doesn't seem to have affected it at all our pomegranate tree it's not very tall yet um, but it's got lots of flowers on this year and um, just hope the branches are going to be strong enough to hold on to the fruit um, we'll see if we lose it doesn't matter as long as it's healthy and it's growing um, it's one for the future and the plum tree we've got loads of fruit on this year I think we had about six or seven last year and they started to ripen before they were fully grown um, so we took them off and they weren't the best actually they were a bit bitter but this year it's later so I'm hoping that bodes well absolutely laden all the branches we've got loads of plums on there um, we, again we cut this right back a few months ago obviously before it started to blossom and it seems to have done it really good and our nice perro tree we planted very recently um, it's very tall but we're not going to get any fruit off this this year it is still very very young um, but it survived the winds which was the main thing we were concerned about because it went in the ground and then we had about three days of very very windy weather um, but no it's looking good the asparagus and um, we've had four weeks worth of picking it now so we're just going to leave it now because we want it to get stronger as I say it's the first year we've harvested um, and it's been quite fine so we're going to let it get thicker now just let it do its thing put all the nutrients back down into the crowns I think they call them um, and hopefully next year we'll get an even bigger harvest this is one of our olive trees and um, we've had a couple of bad years we didn't get anything last year apart from a tiny little tree that produced enough for us anyway so that's the main thing but this year they're all absolutely laden so that bodes well so this is our caper bush we've got three actually on the property I'm very fortunate they just grow wild and um, we chop them right back every year and they just keep growing um, loads of lovely flowers usually and we kind of leave them for the, the bees the bees love them and then uh, when the, when the little buds are ready tiny little buds we pick them and put them in salt and we use them on our pizza and oh make tartar sauce and yeah we love them and these are last year's peppers that we've overwintered um, again on the previous video we put them into bigger pots so that they get big and strong and we can see already there are lots of little tiny buds which are going to be flowers and hopefully peppers so very pleased with those and we've planted some new seeds as well so that we can get them going this year probably won't get a lot of um, fruit off them but then we'll overwinter them for next year so having a little pepper farm going on this is our lemon tree finally um, lots of buds as you can see lots of pollen little bees sat there doing its thing um, I was a little bit concerned the leaves are looking a bit yellow didn't know whether that was too much water or not enough but our farmer neighbour popped in yesterday to see us and he said it's absolutely fine it looks fine not to worry about it so hopefully lots of little lemons soon so it's all good we're very very pleased um, we've also got some melons in the bath the old bath at the back of the, this wall here um, but it's nothing to show you yet they're not popping up yet because um, it doesn't get the sun around there the same um, so but no it's uh, we we'll hopefully have a good year this year so well, the air con's getting closer see it's been around this morning he spent a couple of hours he's got all the wiring ready for this all the coppers ready the pipes are ready and um, to be fitted up that's the plate that's got to go on the wall this goes on the wall we need to make a hole right through the wall for these two and the electric cables to go through and then it hangs on this that's going to be the fun part of course as always and um but he's not coming till the morning in the meantime now i've got to remove the light that was in the way that i didn't do yesterday because we had other things to do
Awesome, right, that wasn't too bad. We're ready for aircon now. So I mentioned yesterday that I'd planted some new pepper seeds as well. Um, and as you can see, they're starting to come up now. Um, loads of them, in fact. I think Andy was a bit impatient because I'd planted about 12 to start with and then nothing was happening. So he planted a load more and I think we're gonna end up with 50,000 peppers. But anyway, more is better. Um, <laughs> We've had to put these cat spikes in because the cats love to sleep on these tubs of compost for some reason. Um, we did originally have them covered until they started to pop through but obviously now they need the sunlight. So we've taken the top off and we've got our cat spikes. Um, we've been to the Chinese Bazaar, we've bought some compost and some uh, more buckets because as I say, I think we're going to need them. So we've got sweet Italian ones in here and these three, you won't see that one, it's out of camera shot, are bell peppers. Um, bell peppers did really, really well last year, so fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so uh, let's prepare some tubs. So this is where the new pepper pots are going to go. Um, they're last year's, you've seen those recently. Um, but look at the state of this. These weeds, they grow for, for nothing, for toffee. There's absolutely no soil no moisture and look at them i wish everything else grew as well so before i get the pots in position i'm just going to do a bit of weeding um, I'll clear the area i've got my glove on some of these are spiky little devils so we've got our tubs we've got our manure and um, our sustrato compost and a great big wheelbarrow full of donkey poo which is rotting down very nicely now so good old donkey and um, so yeah obviously not ready for transplanting yet but as long as we get the pots ready when they get a little bit bigger they can have more room we're just going to fire a few holes in them stop and get a super water log not oh, there's much chance of that here any precise way of doing this. Cool. I'll do for one. Sharing out the compost between the pots, we're not sure we're going to have quite enough. I'm just going to layer it with the donkey poo. Fortunately I can't do it because it needs two hands for a spade. And at the moment, still working with one. But fortunately, I have a man that can. Okay, so they're done. Um, I'm just going to give them a good watering now, give them a few days to compact down. I um, didn't quite have enough for the last the tub there, but we can get some more, it's not a problem. Um, but yeah, it was a good job, well done. Oh, best late plans. Um, today's aircon day. Um, it's cold, it's damp, we've had not rain, but drizzle, that dust stuff that soaks you through, but doesn't really wet the floor. Um, it's supposed to clear brighten up a bit in a little bit. So in anticipation, I'm gonna get We've cleared the bedroom out, moved everything out of the way. I'm going to start taking stuff up and um, I'm ready to get it installed. So I've cleared everything out of the way. It's going in the middle of this wall. We ideally want it um, as low down as possible um, for outside reasons, so we're not stretching on the ladder. Um, but we think so in the middle of this wall, um, probably about there, because the bed goes underneath us here. Uh, so I'm going to put some cardboard, protect our, protect our beautiful wooden floor and um, bring my little stool up and um, fetch stuff up, get some drills and some hammers and things and So we've got cardboard on the floor, sheets up there, Inspector Alf is of course inspecting our bench So the first job is to get this plate on the wall We need to decide exactly where we want to put it and this is what the interior unit hangs on 
when that's on the wall we need to make a hole through the wall about there for all the things to run through so we'll have a discussion and see exactly where we want to put this is done. The inside bits in, we've got a bit of remedial work to do around it but not a lot and um, all the cables and pipes and everything are running through outside. Now to get the outside unit fitted. Right out, it's in, it's all working, um, Didn't couldn't do much filming because it was a two man job. Uh, I still need to run the conduit and run the drain for it and stuff but it's super cold today. Both our hands are like ice. Um, Stuart's gone to curl up in front of the telly. And um, I think we're gonna go out for a menu and get, get somewhere warm. But yep, yeah, it's in and it's working. So that is super happy days. Well, all that remains is for us to clear up in here. Look at the mess. Yes. <laughs> Unavoidable though, unfortunately. Yeah, it's got a bit of remedial work to do there. Yeah. there. But other than that, it's in and it's working, which is fantastic. Yes. I said before, it's cold. It's 11.9 Celsius. And today. yesterday was what, 30 Nearly degrees? 30. We were sat out oh. in shorts and t shirts, and um, yeah, now I've got three layers on. It may so. not be that cold, but we really <laughs> feel, feel it. it. Yeah, hands are numb out yeah. there. So we're not doing any more today, we'll say we're going to go and get a, we're going to have a nice menu. Somewhere. We're going to have a nice menu, get this put back together first yes, though. Yes, tidy up. And yes. then, so thank you so much for watching. Um, chill it out at the finger. <laughs> 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 and um, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks to everyone that supported the channel. Thanks to all our patrons of course. If you've made it this far, consider subscribing. Give us a like if you've liked it.